when there lived a mare as dark as night, but as kind as the kind could be. She had a family, a kind, happy family with a foal and a husband, and she lived in perfect harmony, and she was the kindest horse in the stables. On the other hand, was not so nice. <laughs> he loved to play tricks on everybody and make them feel bad about themselves. So he'd go around and just be plain mean to everybody. <laughs> mean. The mare loved her foal more than anything in the world. She wanted to protect him and keep him safe from any bad people in the world that she could. Come here, Narco, come here. Come here, boy. But he never came when she yelled for him. And one day, that was too much for her to handle. I wanted to play a trick on his mom. So he ran in front of the truck. But before the truck hit her, his mom, she saw him and she blocked the way. It got hit by a truck. And screamed for help. But nobody came. And then her foe came. Ha <laughs> mommy, I told you, I'm a trickster. I'm going to trick you every day for the rest of your life. <laughs> Help me, somebody. Help me. And just like that, the mare was fallen dead from a horrible truck crash. All because of the meanest foal in the stable. People of the stable came out to see what happened, and she had been dead, so they draped over a towel over her face, so nobody could see her hideousness, and they wanted to bury her. But, one faithful day, she came back to life, and she vowed to haunt any foal that ever treated anybody badly. So, her story would be she'd come to the stables, steal away the foals, and never bring them back because they hurt her and she wanted to hurt them back. And this is where our story begins. The stables started labeling her the Dark Mare because she'd come in the darkness of night and take the foals and keep them forever. And the people of the stable would lock their foals away forever and try to keep the Dark Mare out. But there was no stopping it. She had a key to the stables and a friend on the inside who would let her in. Oh my gosh, that dark mare. Man, she's scary. She's going to take our foals all away. We need to keep a close eye on them and on our big horses. Maybe they can do something about it. Keep the foals in their stalls. Make sure nothing happens to them. Dark Mare has find herself a secret hideout that she takes the foals and keeps them safe in her hideout. Man, I need to get revenge on those foals, especially my foal. They'll think I'm dead, but no, I've come back. I need to get revenge on all of them. They killed me and didn't help until I was dead. I need to do something about this. Tonight, I'll go and I'll steal one foal. Each night, I will steal one more, and another, and another, until all the foals of Shorthand Stables are in my grasp. When it started to get dark out, she was making her plan to, keem, to come and take the foals. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ask Marshmallow, open the doors up for me so I can come in and take, I don't know who I'm going to take, but I'm going to take the closest one and run. They need to 
understand that that was the worst thing anybody's ever done to anybody in the shorthand stables. They need to pay immediately. Now was her time to strike. All the foals and all the horses were asleep in their beds at night. All the riders had gone home. Time for her to strike. I don't know who I'm gonna take today. I think this little fella. Come on, come here, come here. Snatched out of the darkness, this foal was gone forever, and nobody knew the difference of it. Come on. I'm taking you because your best friend killed me. What are you talking about? <laughs> Mom! Mom! Nobody can hear you. Shut up. If you don't shut up, you're gonna get real bad. Stop it. Stay here. Don't move. Or you'll be killed. Okay? Dark Mare. <laughs>